Are you auditing a website and want to know if there are any broken links? Well, in today's video, I'll teach you how you can quickly identify broken links on any website using SEO Minion. So let's get started. Okay, so you want to make sure you don't have any broken links on your website for a couple of reasons. The first reason you don't want any broken links is because you want to make sure you have a good user experience. Whenever someone uh, browses your website and clicks on a link, you want to make sure they can go to that second page. You don't want them to hit a 404 error page because that will just make people frustrated. I know it makes me frustrated whenever I click on a broken link, so you definitely don't want to give that negative experience to your website visitors. Now, the second reason why you don't want any broken links on your website is because it prevents Google from crawling your website properly. So if you have a link pointing to an internal page on your website, you want to make sure Google can uh, crawl and read that second page. It helps Google understand what your website is about. It helps give context to Google around the content of your page. Now, if you are linking to an external website, you want to make sure Google can read that external page as well to allow Google to understand the context of your page content and to allow the crawlers to crawl the other websites and the entire World Wide Web. Now, how do you check if your site or any site for that matter has a broken link? So you can manually check. Okay, so you can basically click on every single link that you see on the page and make sure it goes to that second page. Now, if you are auditing a page with many, many links, it will take a long time. Now, the quicker way, the easier way to check if your site has any broken links or any issues with links is to use SEO Minion. Okay, so if you go to seominion.com, you can install the extension for Chrome and for Firefox. All right, so I'm going to go to this blog here. It's a lead gen blog. And if I click on the SEO Minion uh, Chrome extension and turn it on, uh, there are a handful of features here, but I'm going to focus on check broken links. Okay, so instead of manually clicking on, clicking on every single link to check to see if it's working, all I do is just click on check broken links and within a few seconds, SEO Minion will crawl, read every single link and let me know if there are any issues uh, to the links on this page. Now within a couple of seconds, SEO Minion found 149 links on this page. Now as I scroll down this page, you will notice that the links are actually highlighted and they're highlighted different colors so you can quickly visualize where the links are and what types of links they are. Okay, so there are different types of links that SEO Minion will categorize the links under. The green ones are valid links and there are 137 valid links on this page. Uh, the yellow ones are 404 links and it looks like we have one. SEO Minion will also uh, highlight the no domain links empty links, redirects, server errors, and also unknown, okay? Now, you can also, say for example, you just want to uh, know where the internal links are or analyze just the internal links, just click on internal and you'll notice the table will get updated and also the page will get updated as well. If you click on external, you'll notice in real time the links uh, change. So SEO Minion will only highlight the external links on the page and also, you can tell SEO Minion to signify the follow links or the no follow links, okay, just by clicking on these radio buttons. Now, I'm just going to leave those as all. Now, for more detail, uh, you can scroll down to the all links section and check exactly which links have issues. Okay, so remember, we have one 404 link. So what is that 404 link? So all you do is just make sure you check the 404 uh, checkbox right here and this is the 404 link listed right here okay so very very quick for you to identify what links are broken or have issues 
by looking at this table here. Okay, so let's scroll up and find that 404 link. So it's actually this one highlighted in yellow, record keeping requirements. So let's check to make sure that's actually accurate. So I'm gonna exit uh, SEO Minion. So you'll notice the links are still highlighted. So this one is a 404 link. Let's click on it. And yep, it's a 404 page. And it says the requested page could not be found. Okay, now this would probably take me quite a while, right, to find out that this link is a 404 link if I did this manually. Now, looking at this all links section here, uh, say for example, you don't want to always be looking at this sidebar. You can also download the links that are listed here into a spreadsheet and you could refer to it at a later date and fix them, do whatever you wish with them. Okay, so this is how you can find uh, broken links using SEO Minion. So hopefully you thought this video was helpful. Please hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and also if you want to check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. So with that said, thank you so much, and we will see you in the next one.